Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on my video. I wasn't planning on making this video today, but I haven't uploaded a video in a week and a half. I don't have enough photo cards to store. I don't have any albums to unbox, so I'm just gonna have to do like a binder setting up for, or like a reorganization video. So I hope you guys like those, because that's what this is gonna be. Um, I think there's two, potentially three things that I can set up for in this video, depending on how long I take to do the first two. I do have work like pretty soon. So if I'm like kind of rushing, maybe that's why. There's two collections that I need to set up for comebacks for. Set up for comeback, yeah, <laughs> comebacks for. Um, one is Kepler and then the other one is La Seraphim because um, they're both having a comeback. Or actually Kepler already had their comeback, but uh, I haven't set up for it yet. And La Seraphim's having theirs in a couple weeks. For Kepler, Kepler just came back a couple days ago with their comeback giddy or i guess the album is called love struck let me figure out how many pa i don't know how many pages i need god i grabbed two nine pockets because i think that's how much i'm gonna need for kepler because holy shit they went crazy um i was like fine collecting kepler where they had like less than nine cards per album like this is all fine for this album they literally have i'm gonna have to fill up two pages they're pulling an itsy you know how jyp is like really obsessed with giving itsy 10,000 versions right now and 10,000 photo cards per version and um, that's what kepler did that's what wig one did for kepler so i guess i can pull out a template um here's the template so like i said the album's already out so we do have some photo card scans here already and can i just say i'm a big fan of these youngin cards these might be my favorite photo cards that youngin has ever had like album wise because i know i think i have some like particular favorites from certain albums like i really like these cards and i also really like these cards but like album wise i'm a big fan of basically all of them so for that reason these ones might be my favorites so as you can see there are three photo book versions eye contact love strike and first blush and that is three cards per version so that's going to fill up a whole nine pocket page and then they had three cards for the digi pack four cards for the platform so i think i'm just going to have those go on a separate page 16 cards because they hate us i really like this card and i really like this card i'm excited i to be honest with you i'm gonna be keep it 100 percent right now i did not pre-order a single album i didn't join any group orders like i am so unprepared for this comeback you can probably tell by the fact that i'm not setting up for it until after the album's even out previously for young and i've used these pink fillers or pink sticky notes but i recently got these like cute animal ones that i feel like all the youtubers use <laughs> um and i want to use them so I don't know which one to use. Maybe this pig. I don't know. I There's only 15 per, though, which is annoying because there's 16 cards per member or per, yeah. So maybe I have to split it up into two. Maybe I'll use two different pigs. Sure. <laughs> I'll do the pink for, like, the photo book cards and then this one for, like, the digipack and the platform cards, which I don't, like, I get the, I, I get the idea of a platform card, but if you're already going to have three photo book versions and digipacks it's kind of defeating the purpose of the platform album to begin with but anyway i'm gonna make fillers and i think i'm gonna do it sped up Okay, we're back. I made all the fillers with my cute new sticky notes. And yeah, while I put them away, I guess I'll talk about the comeback. The huh? <laughs> the who? So the title track, Giddy. I think it might be my new second favorite title track by Kepler. I think Up is still number one. Up was like the song of the summer. Up is the reason I decided to uh, fully stand Kepler. Because like I had my eye on them from Queendom. Queendom was like the whole reason that I actually started paying attention to Kepler and then when they came back with Up I was like okay yeah if they're gonna make music like this then I have no choice but to fully stand them so I did and I picked up Youngin um and then We Fresh came out wasn't my favorite <laughs> definitely my least favorite title track that they had I didn't think it was bad I still listened to it it definitely was not my favorite out of the three that they released at the time hold on I need to do a seven pattern for this page so I'll do nobody liked Be Fresh <laughs> People are, were already giving up on Kepler. They needed a good song. And Giddy was so good. And it was it's just barely below up. 
And I love the B-sides. I think the one thing that Kepler is really good at is their B-sides. My favorite B-side is Back to the City. It's so fun and like, I don't want to say city pop because just because the word city is in the title, but it's city pop to me. I don't know. My only complaint about this era so far is how many photo cards <laughs> there are, especially considering I did not prepare at all. I have nothing on the way to me like at all whatsoever. I might have to go on Instagram later and see if I can like last minute join something <laughs> or we'll see. We'll see because I really do love these photo cards. Just... So you get an idea. I have all three of the photo book versions on this page and then the three digi pack cards, the three like platform selfies and then the platform like QR card. I don't know if it's QR though, but the concept card. So that is my setup for Love Struck. I haven't even finished Troubleshooter yet. I think I'm only missing one card though. Hold on. Oh yeah, because I have one here. Spoilers! <laughs> Spoilers for my next Dark Photo Cards video. And then I think I have two on the way. So I think I'm only missing one. But that's not that's not the point. At least I have that over with. Let's move on to La Seraphim. La Seraphim have not had their comeback yet. I think La Seraphim's album details are the exact same as they were for Anti-Fragile, except for there's one less compact card, which actually works out perfectly because then I can put all three of the photo book cards on the same page instead of like how I did it weird over here but and then I can have all three of the compact cards on the same page and then all three of the weavers cards on the same page or the photo books there's three versions and then there's f oh oh yeah I was like wait a minute there's five per member no I have it the opposite so there's three per member which is the same as anti-fragile and then like some postcards and stuff but I am planning on doing an unboxing on my channel when the album comes out um it's not going to be like a target unboxing because <laughs> target the albums are so expensive on target so it's going to be a little late it's not going to be like a day of unboxing like my twice unboxing was okay compact like i said there's three per member instead of four per member like there were for anti-fragile and then for the weavers um yeah they come in sets like ot5 sets and I was actually thinking, and this, I still might do this, but I was thinking about maybe collecting just OT5 for the Weavers and just buying all three of the sets. But for now, I'm just going to set it up as if I'm only collecting my top three. So that's basically what we're working with today. I also have to set up for um, Fearless Japan because I decided to collect those cards um, like a month ago and I never set up for it. So we're going to do that now too. Okay, four pages. Let's see how many cards is that per member. 12. So each member can have their own little guy because I have enough sticky notes for each of them to have their own guy. Should I use the cats? The cats are cute. Okay, I'm gonna use the cats. I can't, I can't dally on this too long. I am collecting their Japan cards. This is kind of a spoiler of what I already have secured, but it's just the standard version and then the two solo jackets because I'm not collecting the units because that would mess up like my perfect nine pocket. So yeah, I just thought I would show that so you kind of know what I'm what I'm on about. Oh my god, what cat should be who? Unche. Okay, Yunjin, Kazua, Unche. Who agrees? Oh, or no, is this Kazua? Okay, maybe <laughs> Yunjin. Okay, no, Yunjin, Kazua, Unche. That's right, <laughs> right? Who else agrees? Okay. I think I'm also gonna speed past this part too because I don't want this video to be 10,000 years long. Okay, <laughs> that took so long. I'm gonna start with the Fearless Japan um, because obviously that came first chronologically. I'm also gonna put the standard versions in the middle. I don't know what the card backings look like, but I'm assuming they might be different than the uh, solo jacket ones. So I want the backs to, why did I put these sticky notes on so bad? I want it to be like, same different same do you know what i mean <laughs> um and also for the first sticky note i wrote their like initials even though i couldn't really figure out what kazuas were i just put kz then i was like there's no need for me to do that if they all have their own little cat color which can i just say i think i did a really good job of assigning each of the girls <laughs> um 
a cat color that matches. These are so crooked. What was I thinking? So yay, that is Fearless Japan. As you saw, I have a couple secured, so hopefully maybe my next drawing photo cards video. And then, at first I was just going to put like version 1, version 2, version 3, but the past couple days they've, I think, been revealing the version names. Like I'm assuming the um, concept pictures that they've been releasing like with the titles. I'm assuming those are the version names, right? That would make the most sense. So I wrote like Bloody Rose, Dewey Sage, and then Dusty Amber for each. Also, the sun came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I sure hope those are the version names or else this will be really awkward. I'm probably not going to fix it either because I don't have very many of these sticky notes. So um, my one big hope for these photo cards is that there's no more Flower Yunjin or Candy Chewon. I don't even collect Chewon, but I just don't want anyone to have a card like that. But based on the concepts alone, I'm getting a little nervous because <laughs> they're like on horses and shit. And if any of them, and I mean any of them, have a photo card with the horse, <laughs> it's literally going to be over. Anytime Yunjin winks in a photo card, also people freak out about it and make it 20 times overpriced. So she better keep her eyes open. Um, they can't hold any objects. No flowers, no candy. I'm not gonna allow it. Actually, you know what? I'll let Chewan and Sakura do it because I don't collect those two numbers, so. I don't know how Chewan and Yunjin collectors do it because not only are those the just two hardest members in general, but the fact that they have to worry about Candy Chewan and Flower Yunjin on top of like also Yunjin's like weird, weirdly hard compact card and her weirdly hard weavers card. Cause she's winking in them because i feel like every era there's gonna be a card jesus christ there's gonna be a card that's gonna be impossible but i'm so excited these versions are these versions these concepts look so sick kind of to continue what i was talking about earlier with like my unboxing i ordered my albums from k-town um i got a set of the photo books and a set of the compact versions so i will have those to unbox on my channel um i didn't get any weavers albums because i think i just want to join a group order for those but i still haven't joined a group order for those so i don't know i don't know because i i'm trying to find a weavers group order that's gonna be like member sorted like i feel like a lot of the weavers ones i've seen have been like you can claim a set but they're not gonna sort you for member um which like i get but i want my members you know so we'll see what happens i might end up just getting the um Weaver's version like myself and then just doing trading for the members that I need so or the cards I need I don't know when things come in OC5 sets like that it's like always hard and then I also forgot to consider when I was like setting up for this album in my head the QR cards because for anti-fragile they just did two selfies and then a QR but for this album they're doing three selfies and a QR so I think I'm just gonna have them go on the back for now um i have been considering not collecting the qr cards at all i'm not gonna worry about it for right now um so let me just quickly go over um what i did for the seraphim so this is fearless japan of the solo jacket cards and then the standard cards and then for um what the hell is the album called unforgiven <laughs> unforgiven i have the bloody rose version dewey sage version dusty amber and then all of the compact cards all of the weavers cards and then for now the qr cards are on the back so that is my little seraphim collection. If I had time, I was gonna set up for my Dreamcatcher collection in this video, but I don't think I have time, so I might just do that in like my next drawing video or my next drawing photo cards video, I think maybe, I don't know. We will see. Yes, what time is it? All right, I have to start getting ready for work. So I will see you guys later. My next video, by the way, will hopefully, fingers crossed, be my ready-to-be storing video. I have all but three cards on hand, so hopefully that'll be the next video for me, and then maybe the next one after that will be my <laughs> unboxing of Unforgiven, so we will see. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long or too short. I still don't know how it's going to end up um, being in the editing process. I'll see you guys later. Love you. <laughs> Bye.